again, everyone, and welcome back to Backloop Cottage. We are here today at Rock Recipes and we are making something very special. Today I'm going to be making slush. Here in Newfoundland, there's kind of like an old school slush recipe, which uses canned pineapple and um, it is delicious. And at the end of the day, put together pineapple rum, it's, of course it's gonna be good. But we have a couple of versions here at Rock Recipes. We've got a fresh pineapple slush. There's a strawberry lime slush, which is delicious. Uh, but today I'm going to be making a blueberry rum slush for you all. These beautiful Newfoundland blueberries picked by the one and only Crowley Parsons, my grandfather, who is the king of blueberries. His freezer is full of gallons of blueberries. I've never seen a man collect so much, but thank you very much to Pop for these berries. And we are going to get right into it and make a delicious cocktail. So let's get into it. So here in this bowl, I have four cups of blueberries. This recipe actually calls for eight, but I only have my hands on four. Therefore, I'm going to be making half recipe, but you can go ahead and make the full thing if you like. Full recipe at the link below. To these four cups of blueberries, I'm going to just add a splash of water. I'm going to simmer them just for about five minutes, just until the juices kind of come out of these berries. You can already actually kind of see it happening. And then at the same time over here, I have one cup of water in this pot. I'm gonna add equal parts sugar, so one cup of sugar, and we're just going to make a simple syrup over here on the stove. No need to make this boil. Basically, as soon as the sugar is completely dissolved into the water, you have yourself a simple syrup. So we're just gonna let these sit for about five minutes, let them do their thing, and then we'll get going. All right, so the simple syrup is completely clear, dissolved, it's finished. We'll take that off the heat. And these blueberries are thawed now. A lot of the juice has come out of them into the bottom. So we're also gonna take these off the heat. So I've transferred these blueberries to an airtight container. Airtight is important because the slush can stay in the freezer for quite a while and you don't want it kind of absorbing any smells, odors, tastes of anything else in the freezer. So transferring it to an airtight container, I have hit it with an immersion blender just to break up the berries as best as I can. And I've just added my simple syrup to the mix as well. So that's one cup of simple syrup. Now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients, nice and easy. Here I've got one and a half cups of white grape juice. Give or take a quarter cup of lemon juice. Of course, I recommend fresh lemon juice, but sometimes when you're in a pinch, bottles will do. And then last but not least, the key ingredient, I'm going to use golden rum, not dark rum because it's a little too intense for this. You could use um, white rum if you wanted to, but I'm gonna go ahead and use kind of a gold somewhere in the middle. So if you are using the whole recipe with the eight cups of blueberries, you can put a full 26 ounces in. I am going to use half of this bottle because I'm only using half a recipe. This I will eyeball. I feel like I am mixing up a big old school punch bowl for a party. And that's it, that's all the ingredients. So we're gonna seal this up and pop it in the freezer. Hello again. So it is the next day. I let this slush go overnight just because I wanted to let it get a little bit more frozen, a little bit slushier. Just a reminder that because of course there is liquor in this, it is not going to freeze completely. But what you're kind of looking for is a nice in-between point. You'll see some ice crystals, all you have to do is give that a stir. We're gonna finish it up and try it here now. I've uh, just got a rocks glass here, which is my glass of choice most of the time. And I've filled it up probably about halfway-ish. All we're gonna do to finish this up today is top it with some club soda. 
And I'm gonna finish with a little garnish of lemon as well. And there you have it. The slush, a little, maybe I added a little bit too much club soda to this one, but it is early in the day still. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that is so nice. It's just like pure, delicious Newfoundland blueberries. And if you've had blueberries from Newfoundland, you know that even though they're smaller, a little bit deceptive, they're actually very, very sweet. Um, this is definitely going to turn my teeth blue. I'm going to have red wine teeth after this. Mmm. Seriously, that is so good. Having slush on hand during the holidays makes gatherings so much easier. You just kind of let people go at it. And it's something a little special, you know? I'm gonna bring this slush along with me to town and enjoy it with my family. We're gonna have a little bit of a quieter Christmas because of the pandemic, but of course it is nice just to be together and to be home in Newfoundland. So I'm grateful nonetheless. Uh, I hope all of you have a very safe and happy holiday and Merry Christmas!